Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Raffaella Maller, if we haven't met, and if we have, then welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be testing out this L'Oreal Venu... Today, I'm gonna be testing out the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I have not opened it, I have not touched it, I have not played with it. The only thing I know about it is that people are raving about it. I've watched a few reviews on it, and basically people are saying that this is the best drugstore mascara ever. So I decided that I wanna really give that a try and see if that's true for myself. So that's what we're gonna do today. And if you wanna see, then keep on watching. Before we really get into testing out the mascara and seeing how it looks on our eyes, I wanna really look it up and see what they're claiming what it's meant to do so that way when we test it out we know exactly what we're looking for so i'm on the ulta website it is a drugstore mascara of course it's by l'oreal so you can buy it in any drugstore um walgreens cvs rite aid but um ulta has it as well so on ulta website it has 4.3 stars so that's pretty good it comes in four colors black is black which i have mystic black black and black brown so it says take your lashes to paradise l'oreal's voluminous lash paradise mascara mascara is their first mascara for voluptuous volume and length now with even more black pigments soft wavy bristle brush holds maximum vol formula for a dramatic volumizing charge there's 200 plus bristles smooth glide formula provides silky volume and one extra black coat Lashes are feathery, soft to the touch, so it's meant to not actually harden those lashes where it's uncomfortable and feels so stiff, which I love. Hopefully that's true. The claims sound really good. It has a lot of claims saying that, you know, it's basically the best of the best. Um, I have tried the regular uh, voluminous mascara by L'Oreal that they've had on the market forever, and I loved that one. Um, I used it for a while and then I kind of switched to the telescopic uh, one from L'Oreal. It has a really, really small brush. I find that it just coats the lashes really well. And it is by L'Oreal. And since I love those two mascaras, I'm hoping that this one would work for me as well. Because, you know, kind of once you're in the brands, once you see something you don't like, you're kind of skeptical and going back into the brands. But then when you know that you like something from the brands, you're more inclined to try it and be more excited about it. Enough talking. Let's get into actually trying it. So I'm going to open it up. The packaging is really cute, it's really pink. And I mean, I think it looks nice and fun. So I'm gonna take it out. Oh, a lot of products came out. So this is what the brush looks like. A lot of people are saying it's a dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced, which I can see a little bit because the brush looks a little similar. Um, it's a bigger brush. I mean, I can't say it's huge. I've definitely seen bigger, but compared to maybe the telescopic or some other mascaras, it is on the larger side. But for volume, that tends to be um, needed. You need to have a larger brush uh, and bigger bristles if you want to have a lot of volume. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it on. I'm gonna move my mirror closer, zoom on into my face. And I don't usually use a lash curler. Um, it's a rare occasion that I do. And I would say that I have pretty average length lashes. They're not too small and they're not too long either. From one full coat, I can already see that it's really covering every single lash. It's, the bristle really grabs onto each lash. The only thing I'm seeing is that at the end of the brush, I'm kind of getting a lot of product and just make sure to kind of clean that off. Okay, going in for a second coat. I do feel like it's kind of drying quickly, so I keep having to like dip the brush back in, which is not a terrible thing. First impressions are actually really good. I love the look of really big, dark lashes, and I feel like this mascara is definitely giving that to me. I think that 
normally with any other mascara, I have to work much more at it than I am right now. I feel like I probably did like a, about maybe five like full coats and that's really not a lot because I would normally just keep going and keep going to really get it to this point. So I'm loving it. And it's coating my lashes really well. I feel like it's grabbing onto every lash. I feel like I'm not really working at it. I'm just kind of applying it really easy. Oh, like I mentioned before, see I'm kind of getting a little bit of clumps because I didn't clear off the end. So that's the only downside I'm seeing right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and coat the bottom lashes. I can't help but make this face. I just can't. I know you guys do it. I know it, so don't laugh at me. So from doing the bottom lashes, the one thing I can say is for me, I'm just so used to using the telescopic that has such a thin, tiny brush that when I use a, a bigger wand like this one, I feel like it's kind of getting everywhere and like I did get a little bit in my lower lash line and that I have to go back and fix. I mean, that's not a terrible thing. It happens all the time and maybe for you, if you're used to a bigger bristle or a bigger brush, then that wouldn't be an issue for you. But for me, maybe because I'm, like I said, I'm just not used to it and I prefer maybe a smaller brush for my lower lashes. Are you ready for my final thoughts? So this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise is definitely a great mascara. I'm definitely gonna be using it again. I really liked how it was really easy to work with. I definitely feel like I work more with other mascaras to get my lashes this volumized and this long. Um, the one downside I will say is that the brush is a little bit larger than most, but if you're someone who goes for that larger brushes and who likes that, and like I said, for more volume, you definitely need a bigger brush. So if you don't mind that, then you'll love this. For me, I might still have to go back to my telescopic or a smaller brush for my lower lashes, just because I wanna make sure that I'm not getting it everywhere. Don't wanna have to go and always fix my makeup or you know use a Q-tip and wipe it off. I might just go the safe route and use a smaller brush. But other than that, I'll definitely be going back to this. Definitely recommend buying this and who knows, maybe this will be my next favorite. And who knows, maybe if I'll try it again, I'll love it on my lower lash line. And I did claim that the lashes won't get very stiff and uncomfortable feeling, that they'll stay kind of soft to the touch. So I kind of want to touch and see if that is true. And I would say it, it is. I mean, of course you're applying mascara, you're applying makeup, and it's meant to kind of Volume, make your lashes long and volumize and stand up and then stay there. You don't want them to look like this and then fall down um, in an hour or two. So yeah, they're gonna be a tiny bit hard, but I would definitely say they're soft to the touch. So I am doing a little bit of shopping today with my mom. We're heading to the mall and I'll be wearing this for a few hours. Maybe I'll even wear it at night to dinner. I'm not sure yet if I'll be redoing my makeup or not, but I will definitely list my final thoughts how it wore, if it smudged, if it um, crumbled down, if it flaked on my face. I will leave that those final thoughts in the description bar along with any other information you might need. So definitely go check down below. P please remember to subscribe before you leave. It will mean the world to me. And give my video a thumbs up if you like it. And please stay tuned for my next videos. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.